Hello everyone, welcome to your partner in education, Agile Rank Mate. Today, in this episode of IIFT Insights, we're going to be looking at some sample questions based on logical reasoning. Today, in this episode, we're going to be looking at sample questions of the entrance exam of the Engineering Institute of Foreign Trade, and we're going to be looking at how to solve them effectively. So let's start off. In the IAFT's exam, it's usually questions which are bundled together with specific directions for all of them. So let's look at one of those sets. Dajeev planted some plants in his lawn, but in a certain fixed pattern. The pattern is described like this. In most of the rows, there are neither roses nor marigolds. Number two, there are two more roses of orchids than tulips and two more roses, rows of roses than orchids. There are four more rows of roses than tulips. There aren't as many rows of lily as fireball. There's one less marigold row than rose, and there's just one row of tulips. The maximum number of rows he planted is six. So, how do we solve this question? Well, let's look at each of the clues, shall we? So if you look at clue number two, clue number two says there are two more rows of orchids than tulips and two more rows of roses than orchids, which is the same statement as number three, which says there are four more rows of roses than tulips. So, according to statements two and three, we have the number of orchids number of rows of orchids as the number of tulips plus two and the number of roses as the number of rows of orchids plus two that means the number of roses would be the number of rows of tulips plus four now if you look at clue number four it says there aren't as many rows of lily as fireball. So that means the number of rows of lily will always be less than the number of rows of fireball. Next, we have clue number five that says there's one less marigold row than rose. So if you use clue number five, the number of marigolds, marigold rows, is the number of rows of roses minus one, which is equal to the number of tulips, minus, I mean plus three, because tulips because for, ro the number of rows of roses are the number of rows of tulips plus four. Oh, so if marigold has one less row than roses, then its uh it its number with respect to tulips would be tulips plus three. Now, if you look at question num clue number six there's just one row of tulips. So the number of rows of tulips is one. And this is why we've been converting all the other flowers to tulips, because according to clue six, there's only one row of tulips. So that means, according to clue six, if the number of tulips are one, then the number of orchids would be one plus two, that's three, the number of marigolds will be one plus three, that's four, and the number of roses will be one plus four, which is five. And if you look at quest clue number seven, clue number seven says the maximum number of rows he planted for any one flower is six. So that means maximum rows is equal to six. Now, according to clue number four, the number of lilies are always less than the number of fireballs. So, since we have um, one rows of one row of tulip, three rows of orchids, four rows of marigolds, and five rows of roses we can easily conclude that the number of rows planted for lilies are two, and the number of fireballs planted are six, because that's the maximum number possible. So therefore, 
we now know the number of rows planted for each flower. So now let's look at the four questions for this particular direction. How many rows of roses did he plant? Well, that's easy. We calculated that tulips plus four, which is equal to five. So option B is the right option. Two there is for lilies, four is for marigolds. So option B is the right option. Next question, which of the above information is redundant and can be dispensed with? Now, if you look at clues two and three, clue two said orchids is equal to tulips plus two, and it says roses is equal to orchids plus two. So since orchids already had two extra than tulips, we can infer that it's equal to tulips plus four. However, that's the same thing as clue number three. So therefore, clue number three is actually redundant here. So therefore, option uh, B is the right answer. That's the, the one that can be dispensed with. Now, all our necessary is incorrect because we now know that three is not required. Now, a lot of people would also use one, but clue number one said uh, there are neither, I mean, uh, the number of uh, rows planted for roses and marigolds are not greater than the other flowers. So if you look at it, marigold has four, roses are five, so that's equal to nine. And if you look at the uh, other flowers, so that's one plus two plus three plus six, so nine, eleven, and twelve. So as you can see, among the 21 rows of flowers planted, the number of marigolds and roses rows are actually in the minority compared to the rest of the flowers. So therefore, they're not present in every row. There are not many rows with ro ro either roses or marigolds. So that means statement one is not redundant. And since option C also contains statement one, we would not be able to consider it as the right option. Now, question number three. What is the sum of the rows of orchids and marigolds planted? Now, orchids is tulips plus th two, that's three. Marigolds is tulips plus three, that's four. So therefore, three plus four gives you seven. So seven, option C, is the right answer. Nine is the number for both um, for roses and marigolds, and three would be um, tulips plus lilies, which is also incorrect. We're looking for the sum of the rows of orchids and marigolds. So since we found out that seven is the answer, option D is also incorrect because it says you cannot determine it, whereas in fact you can because you know the number for the rows of orchids and the rows of marigolds from the directions. Last question of the day, how many rows of fireball did he plant? So since the maximum number was six, so therefore option B, six is the right answer. Two or six would not work, and two also would not work because of clue number four, where it says the number of lilies will always be less than the number of fireballs. And since the only two remaining numbers back then were two or six, lily has to have the lesser number, so fireball had the larger number, so therefore option B, six is the right answer. So we, we can use clue number clues 4 and 7 in order to um, solve this particular question, so therefore there is enough data to solve it. And that's why option D is incorrect. Now that concludes this episode of um, IAFD Insights. We hope you found this episode interesting. For more of our useful and interesting content, don't forget to subscribe to Agile Rank Mate, your partner in education. If you want to get the latest updates from our channel, then please don't forget to hit the bell icon that's present below the video. So until the next episode, take care, stay alert, bye-bye for now.